Definitely, because when you're running the cover to Tampa, and you have those players with the 91 zone, like Earl Thomas, well, there's only a few on Riggs, and that's the difference between Riggs and Mutt. These guys don't have those juiced up players, so you really only have Earl Thomas and a couple other players, like, we're not going to see the Vikings out here. You're going to see the Seahawks. People are going to be putting Earl Thomas all over the place. Absolutely, and it sounds like, as a matter of fact, VTech did make a switch. He went ahead and used the Seahawks, like we were talking about before the tournament. Smart he just man. didn't like losing the zone and not having block shed. Andre Branch, I believe, had 88 block shed before the update. He's down to like 74 now. Yeah. It, they lost a lot with that last update. Smart. Smart, man. I'm glad to see VTech learn some lessons from that tournament this week. Is he going to take the adjustments from those tournaments and, that, and try to make a win today? Now, this is the first time I've ever seen CJEC, so if I had to take a, a prediction, it would be VTech, but that means nothing. CJEC is out here locking dudes close. He's not letting somebody run the ball. VTech is doing the smart thing here. If it's somebody you don't recognize, maybe it's his first tournament. Maybe you think it's his first tournament. Run the ball every time. Yeah. Can he stop the run offline? Because it's very different. Running yeah. defense on online, run defense offline, completely different. Yeah, and VTech, he was running up under center. He's still up under center. Last time he was in tight slots when I saw him, I think he was in Buffalo book. I'm not too sure if he's still in Buffalo book. Buffalo. Yeah. So, take notice, people. VTech has a very unorthodox offense, but he's been able to move the ball all over him. Now, the first thing that I saw from C-Jack that let me know that he's a smart Madden player, he went directly into his coaching adjustments, and he made sure he was on conservative. He does not want to get jump snapped, get a free five yards to somebody. He does not want to give away a face mask on a quarterback sack. He does not want to give away a late hit and just give up free yards. Going directly to your coaching adjustments and changing that, he may surprise somebody here. And you're kind of wondering, like, why didn't he just turn everything to aggressive? Well, this is regs, not salary cap. So the penalties are on, and the players can accept the penalties. Yeah, you will see pass interference called. You will see holding called. You're going to see a lot of things you just don't see online that you see offline. C-Jack looks comfortable. He's running the 3-4 odd. That's one of the more popular offenses. He's, uh, excuse me, one of the more popular defenses. He is not quite doing what most people do with the 3-4 odd, which is stuffing the linebackers in all the gaps and trying to confuse the O-line. But what he's doing is definitely working. Definitely. VTEX on his first drive here, most Madden players, especially with his kind of experience, this is a feeling out drive. He wants to see what can he run to make C-Jack uncomfortable. What can he pull out that maybe C-Jack hasn't seen before and it just isn't able to guard. You run very basic offense the first drive. In CJ's mind, on the other hand there, if you get a stop into Madden players, a stop is three points or less. If I can hold you to a field goal, I stopped you. And if you can do that on your first drive, you feel comfortable. Definitely. I need VTech to produce some offense right here. This third and eight, this is a big down for him. I haven't seen a lot of that. So they took out single back jumbo and replaced it basically with that wing tight formation, which is what he has been in, in single back. I haven't seen a lot of people in that. I'm not sure how effective it is. He's going to dump that for a spread Y flux. First time we've seen him in shotgun this game. Let's see how it works out. Looks like a dollar look for C-Jack. So, so he knows he knows the metas. He knows the 3-4 He comes he knows, screaming. He knows the DB fire off the edge. He can send a little bit of outside heat. And I don't think VTech was expecting that. That's why they call it the dollar holler. Because when they bring out that dollar formation, I can promise you, they're, they are screaming. This isn't a bluff, people. Those DBs are coming. User, I got one question for you. What's up? What is that player on the screen? What position does he play? Which one? I have never seen a punter on VTech's team. Hey, man, sometimes you got to punt. When it's 4th from 15 and you're at your own 30, you're going to have to trust your defense. Hey, he has the Seahawks. That's he true. knows the offense isn't going to be that potent, so he's going to punt and use the strength of this team. That's definitely true. Now let's see, right back to the coasting, coasting adjustments. Ball carrier on conservative for C-Jack, making sure he does not fumble the ball. Now, VTech just put something on aggressive. From where it was on the screen, I want to say that was the strip. That could get a little dangerous. Aggressive strips quite often can turn into face mask penalties. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Good user, good user recovery. He turned what should have been a loss of five into a loss of nothing. 
And while we're doing this, 00 Vtech C Jack, one of the other big names in the Madden community right now, Figgy, is in his first game. 7 0. We are going to figure out who is who. This is Figgy's first game in his round robin. Now, they are not in the same round robin. These are two separate round robin games. Just well, the two biggest games we had on the stream there. Well, I can go ahead and tell you that Figgy is in the dark blue and he's on offense. I watched enough of his game play this weekend. And I can tell you, he's up seven with the ball. Right you know now. that corner route. I know. I've watched enough gameplay this week. I can tell you that's Figgy. Single back tight slots. Very popular formation this year. Phenom on defense. Good, good wrap up. Good defense. Most definitely. Now, Figgy in the red zone, just like everybody else, your offense really shrinks. Most people's biggest routes are longer corner routes. They are streak routes with something underneath to suck, a, to suck a zone down, maybe a seam route up the middle. All of that is gone when you get this close to the end zone. The person who wins this tournament is going to be the person who has the best red zone offense, I guarantee it. You're right. I, well, I, can't, I can't deny you on that, man. You're right, because the red zone is the toughest place to score. A lot of people just let people get in the red zone and then go to that three, four dollar and just play drop zone for the four and lock it up. That's right. A lot of cover four show two, a lot of cover four drop and just make you make a bad read from within that 20. That's what a lot of people rely on. That's when those 91 zones that are in cover fours, jumping corner routes really help out. Third and long for Figgy. He's in field goal. I don't expect anything to he's in the second quarter. It's a pretty good look for your first game. He's somebody who just wants to be comfortable. Wow. Let's just fire a corner out anyway. That's first a hot down. Dot. That's a hot dot. Big play on third and 11. I haven't seen a lot of effective corner routes that close to the end zone. I might have to put that one in my game room. Yeah, man. He has Russell Wilson look real dotty. Might have to back pocket that corner route right there. That was kind of nice. He's going to that carry close when he gets in the red zone. Most likely you're going to see the bam bam. A little stretch action. And that block shed from the Seahawks. So if I should warrant that to a great block shed or just really bad run blocking, because it was both. True. Because the offense, Seahawks do not have a good offensive line. They're going to be having to struggle all day trying to run that ball and hold those blocks. I, w I would venture to say Seattle is probably the worst offensive line in the game. If I, I okay. would co-sign. Who would you say? Definitely. I'd co-sign that. Okay. Definitely have the worst offensive line in the game. Now, one thing I have heard a lot of rumors about some there are the underground talk. If you see your opponent choose Seattle, a lot of people will go to Atlanta to kind of match up. The same way they see your opponent choose Atlanta and they will go immediately to Seattle. Those seem to be the teams that balance each other the best. I, again, would probably still go with the Patriots. Third go, carry close, wham, bam, trying to sneak it in there, and he does. Big play. That's a smart play call. That's the best run play in the I, game. Truly, because you know it's third and go, you're at the 10. You can pretty much guarantee he has everything fagged out from far flats to cloud flats to hook zones to bird feed. And that's just smart to be able to call that wham, bam, sneak up in there from third and nine. I know Phenom is feeling real sick right now to see that guy walk in from 10 yards out on third and go. Now, with 56 seconds in a timeout and some of the routes that are in this game, he can definitely get a score. We're going to see if Vitek can keep or can tie his game up back to the single wing tight. 54 seconds still for Phenom. 3-3-5 three, three, for Figgy, the formation on defense. 3-3-5, three, three, no more high. I prefer odd. I want that threat of that nickelback to come out from the outside because I want you to always be scared of him. I don't want to have to blitz him every time, but I want you to think I am blitzing him every time. Right side pressure, good, good seam route. Good now, does he call us? Not. Definitely. Looks yes. like maybe he's coming up with something with a couple post routes here. Maybe try to hit something over the middle. Wouldn't be surprised to see a cover four out of Figgy here. Hey, my boy Figgy playing games. He's coming out here to flood today. Now, at this point on second and 19, I kneel the ball. I go into halftime down 14. If you force something here, he intercepts you, he scores, and even if he scores three here, that can be, that could be the game right there. I don't know if you notice the difference between a veteran and a, and a rookie. See, Phenom just burned his time out. And so, really helped Figgy more than anything yes. else. Because guess what? He gets stopped right here. Figgy might burn that time out, and he's getting the ball back. Big hit. And see, Big look hit. another timeout, another free timeout, basically, for Figgy. When he passes the ball, he stops the clock again. Third and 19, either way, 
If he runs the ball, Figgy calls a timeout. Oh, yeah. If he runs a play and doesn't get a first down, he calls a timeout. Oh, yeah. If he runs a play and does get a first down, he has maybe 20 seconds, and he's not in field goal range yeah. yet. If Phenom is in Green Bay, Figgy has seen this offense plenty enough, because trust me, he's in the offense. He's screaming. You can see he's showing that purple. He's trying to bluff the line. Now he's dropping back lurking. He's going to get the stop. Good wrap up. That's just great stick work by Figgy. You know, and there you go. And now Figgy got two free timeouts from Phenom. He's going to be forced to punt the ball. And Figgy's going to have a chance to go up three scores. He better make sure Figgy don't get this punt return. He's sticky icky and go to the crib a little. Speaking of kick return, shout out to my guy Joke in the front row. And he I kicked it right buddy. to him. And he kicked it right to him. And he kicked it right to him. Do you feel one juke? You may go to the house there. Oh, yeah. Oh, one yeah. juke? One juke. I feel like there was greener pastures ahead on that juke. I feel like he should have pressed it more to the outside. You know so, what I'm saying? Then try to hit that little spin, see if he can get a little glitch on him. He's going to attack the sidelines here. He's going to hope a corner route opens him up for about 20 plus yards. He's going to get out of bounds to save those timeouts. Probably going to hit him with that cover three, be the bomb. A C route? He's going to take the C route. He's going to burn the T.O. Now, I feel like maybe if he didn't conservative catch that, which is definitely the best way to catch yeah. the ball this year, if he would have just caught that ball normally and got out of bounds, he could have saved himself a time out there. But could've that's just, out it's hard to get out of your habits because any, any pass in this game, you want to conservative well, catch it because it's definitely the most powerful catch. It's definitely the most overpowered catch. You just don't right. seem to drop a lot with that animation. And he's going to get three out of this. See, that's big. 53-yard field goal here offline. Now, he has had an entire week kicking these field goals, so he's going to be a little more comfortable than maybe somebody like a Phenom would be kicking that. But a chance to go up three scores. What are going in the half? did. Figgy's probably going to make that field goal and go up 17-0. We can pretty much put a W on his book for the first round in the round robin. We're back with VTech and C-Jack. VTech has tied this ball game up and has the ball. Wow. So, VTech is the Patriots. VTech is running with Tom Brady, Philip Dorsett, Brandon Cooks. Ju Edelman cannot play. That was big for me because I use a lot of Edelman on whip routes, on out routes. That's a really slow looking run. Good run. That looked really slow to me. That was a good run. No, it was quality. He's a Gator. Of course it was quality. Oh, yeah. Just looked real slow. That's big. He got out of bounds. Gonna get a two-minute warning. I like his jerseys. Yeah. Anybody who, if you choose the, the Patriots, throwbacks. you either go those, or you go like the super old school red, what I call the Madden 08 Patriots. As you see, C. Jack is running 4-3 wide, and the reason why he's running 4-3 wide, he knows he has a great defensive line. He's probably not blitzing. He's just gonna spread that line and let those guys block shit and try to get a stop. Oh, he did blitz. Oh, but VTech read it with a nice hot dotty. And it looked like maybe there he tried to use the playmaker feature. You saw Thomas jump a little late from him holding Y. If he tries to time that, he has a lot better chance of getting one of the good animations you can get in the game and jump that, especially with him having to play aggressive trait. But that was just him using the playmaker there. You really got to appreciate the way VTech did not panic and stood in that barrel and took that shot, man. Took the hit. Up the middle. It's going to be hard to run up the middle on the Seahawks with this Patriots line. If you're going to run up the middle with the Patriots, you've got to come out in a heavy formation, maybe put a tackle-eligible formation in there, and really, really grind. And in all honesty, you're going to have to attack a D-tackle before you try to attack an Averill or a Bennett or even a Sheldon if he still has Sheldon outside. Two back, full back inside. Gronk with the handoff. Now, if this were real life, Gronk would probably be out six weeks for that run right there. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. And Figgy did hit his field goal, 17-0 with ball. It is getting ugly in the Figgy Phenom game. Slight work for that man right there. If he scores here, you can pretty much put the nail in the coffin. We're going to see if he can do that and get himself a victory. Looks like the cover four drop. Now, one thing you can tell from Phenom, he's just not used to playing offline. Oh. He keeps showing his play, whether it's offense or defense, to try to make himself a little more comfortable, yeah. which just gives Figgy free looks, which you can't do to a player that good. That's the difference between a veteran and an amateur or a rookie, as you can say. When you come out here and you're playing offline, at home, you show everything. Always. Let me hold it up. Let me see what I pick. Make sure I got all the right adjustments. But guess what? 
when you're offline and you show that to the opponent, he's like, okay, he did that, he did this, okay, I got a hot one for him. And that's why the night before, if it's your first tournament, if it's your first offline experience, play whoever you can. Play your best friend, Big play your roommate. Big play coming up right here, right fourth and goal. VTEC with the ball. Is he gonna run this or is he gonna let the clock run and take his three? This is a big play call right here. And he snaps the ball. Hot dot. Oh, oh but he drops it. Gillis That's big. Yes, he drops it. Now, Seahawks offensive line at the one yard line. You have to send seven. Seven? On this I want seven coming at this quarterback. Ooh, These two points are important. And this. That ball off. No! Oh, and he. Did yeah, he I'm make not it sure out? if he got out. He just he barely did gets make out. It out. Maybe he lost an inch, two inches. Mm. I don't think he really made that. He did not send enough. I need the he had cavalry. Him. He had him. He just. I need Belichick blitzing from the sideline here. Oh, man. You have got to send pressure. See, Jack, as far as we know, it's his first major Madden tournament experience. He's oh. got to hit this. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I thought he was going to do something else. Man. He's punting right here from the one-yard line. I, I, I'm not sure what's happening, I'll be honest. I don't know what's going on right here. I, I, I don't know what's going on. If he right wants here. to waste time, you, I can, you just snap the ball and throw it. Wow and wow. Wow and wow. <laughs> I could not say more besides wow and wow. Roughing the kicker, we're going to have an untimed down. The half cannot end on a defensive penalty. Oh my so goodness. we go from Check punting at the one-yard line to running monster. My money on one from the 15. He might go to the... Breaks oh. one, breaks oh. two. Ooh. That monster play Ooh. is a very tough play to stop. When you come Base in, line, pinch your defensive line, by the way. They will not uh, break any I don't tackles. know, man. When you run three down linemen versus that monster, they can, a lot of times they can get pancakes. For anyone out there who has problem with the monster online, I know it's ran a lot in the mutt, especially in the mutt seasons. You simply base a line, crash your offense or your defensive line, pinch your defensive line, whatever you want to say. They're getting no yards. That was big. V take, you know, I know he's regretting not taking his three, especially since he was getting ball at half. You know, he could have took the three, possibly scored right here and been up ten, and so now he's in the same position. Figgy's still in major control of his game for anybody who wants an update. 17 0 with the ball. VTech back to his two back close. He has shown that he's not scared to run the ball with Gronkowski, which just gives another option for C Jack to have to defend. Just something else to think about. Good hitch route. Nice Curl out down. of the backfield. That's a good route. Yeah, nice take down. That's smart play. Did you see a lot of two back out of VTech this week? I did. I did see a lot of two back. Is this his main formation? He seems to be going back and forth from bunch to two back. What, do you, what did you see him more comfortable in? Uh, he was in two back when it came to tough situations. He, he uh, had a tendency to come to split close. So when he needs the most important yards, it's split close. Definitely. I got you. This is probably Max Protect there sends out three routes. Woo! May have thrown to the most covered of the three. That's a bad read right there. You live to see another day. Yeah, see, Jack was wanting the turnover right there. I have not seen a lot of people in 4-3 normal. I am very intrigued by the pressure he's getting because he's getting very nice, consistent pressure. He's getting yeah. B-gap, he's getting A-gap, he's sending five, he's sending six. He even had the four-man blitz where the, uh, his linebacker was looping at a 4-3, yeah. which most loop blitzes you'll see come out of a 3-4 crossfire, something along those lines. Yeah, Hollywood was using 4-3 this weekend. He had to see Hawks. He was pretty much doing the same setup. Just letting those four de defensive linemen get block shoes. If you're not going to send four, if you're not going to send five, you send two with a spy, in my opinion. If you send less than four people, you have to have a spy on the field in this game. It's too easy. Quarterbacks like Matt Ryan can get out of the pocket. Quarterbacks like Tom Brady. And Earl almost jumped him another one. Chris Hogan snags one out of Seattle's hands. First down. VTEC is playing with fire right now. First and ten. Bunch offset. Bunch strong, I believe. Now, what I really like about that bunch strong, which is only in, you know, like San Fran, some of those books out there, 
the wheel routes to the running back, the hook routes to the running back. He's normally going to be lined up with a linebacker on the opposite side of the field. So any quick cross, mm, Earl, Earl finally Earl. jumps him one. And, I, and that was, I believe, another ball hawk interception as you see him hurdle directly after it. But it works for him. Earl plays that real, real aggressive. 92 zone? 91 zone? 91. That's how many times VTech threw directly at him that drive, and he finally came away with one. And, and that's why you have to have him out there. One oh, tackle to beat. Oh, yep, and that's and just like that. C Jack, seven point victory. No one's catching that man. Touchdown. Just like that. VTech plays with fire. VTech gets burnt on the first play from scrimmage from the Seahawks on that drive. 14 7, pending that extra point. That's big. That's huge. And see, that's what happens in Madden. When you don't take your points, you get greedy. Madden makes you pay. All of a sudden, Earl Thomas plays like he's all-world, first-round Hall of Famer, first ballot, and now you throw an interception in first play. You got Thomas Rawls out here looking like the Damian Thompson, just going to the house, 80-something yards. Figgy has officially won his game. We have the first 1-0 competitor. Figgy goes up 1-0 in his round robin. For anyone out there watching on the stream, if you're local, come out and see us. It's free all day. We're at the Millennial Esport Arena, Neonopolis, the heart of downtown Fremont. Come see us. Come experience this. Come see can VTech make up for that drive and tie this game up. That's big. VTech needs to Trips tight end, something we haven't seen him in, probably the community offense. Does a great job of guarding that crossing route there. Still gets, okay. That was a cute pass, I like that. Philip Dorsett is a big weapon for them. Dorsett and Cooks both, being able to put them on a crossing route, on a drag route, on a baby in route, and turn a five yard gain like that into a first down every time, that's a huge weapon to have. Big trade in Madden for them to pick up another playmaker, somebody that's actually going to matter. Looks like maybe a will three press here. One of the looping blitzes out of it. Great job picking it up there by VTech. That's something he's seen multiple, multiple times. That's not something that's gonna beat him. I'm not sure if C-Jack chooses between three, four and four, three based on what VTech comes out in, but he seems to have pressure out of all formations that he's in. And that is a good recipe for success in competitive Madden. If you can send pressure from whatever defensive formation you're in, if you can have five linebackers on the field and still get pressure, if you have two linebackers on the field and still get pressure, that's what's going to happen. Big sack from C-Jack. We are going to have third and long for VTech. Wouldn't be surprised to see more outside pressure. Maybe a max protect situation from VTech here. He feels comfortable. We've seen him only send out three routes before. Wouldn't surprise me if he only sent out three routes on this play to try to pick this up. We are seeing a lot of pressure from C-Jack, and VTech looks a little uncomfortable right now. Two back close. VTech needs to score right here. This is big, man. Sends out all five, picks up the pressure. Nice. Nice. Door set. That's the cover three beater. Right up the seams. The official score in that Figgy game, 20 nothing. He added another field goal while we were off stream. 20 to nothing. Figgy goes 1-0 in his round robin so far. VTech ties it up 14-14. Now one thing I do like that C-Jack's doing, he is definitely rotating his running backs right now. Rawls is getting some looks. Procise is getting some looks. He's doing a very good job of just keeping his backs fresh. He seems to want to run the ball. I'm not sure if that is his game plan or he just sees how much VTech seems to be. There we go, changes his tackling. Maybe hoping to stop some of those broken tackles. This is big right here. Do you think C-Jack is going to be able to go down and score and pull out this win versus VTech? If I were in C-Jack's shoes, this would be the last drive of the game. My chew clock would be on. It, does, it may wow. not, okay. My chew clock would be on. I would have the controller on the table right now. We'd be talking for 34 seconds. Maybe ask you how the weather is, say. 
Yeah, C. Jack is definitely running that ball well. People on the Twitch, let us know, man. Who you think is going to pull this game out, VTAC or C. Jack? And we will go to the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. 14-14. C. Jack on offense. VTAC looking for a big stop. Four minutes to go in this game. Five minutes to go in this game. This is big. VTech needs to get a stop right here. Single back wing tight, it looks like. Good stick work. Great outside pressure. VTech knew that was coming. C Jacks probably went to the well one too many times on that play. He's been picking up five or six consistently. In the last two or three times, VTech snuffed it out before he even ran it. I feel like he's going to have to throw the ball in that formation to set up the run. Guys on the Twitch, let us know. Joel, Shaggy, I want the glory. Funeral, man, let us know. Who you think is going to win this game? VTech or CJ? Another run, gain of one, maybe two. Third and long now. Now if VTech can get some outside pressure, maybe some DB fire coming out of this, he can turn the tides right back in his direction. Well, Dizzy Dane thinks VTech is going to come up with a stop and pull this game out. Probably a smart man, Dizzy is. Third and long, let's see where we go. Spread wide flex, it looks like. Jimmy Graham lined up at wide receiver. I would say it seems like a split in the chat, man. Micro Bro thinks C Jack is going to win by a million. You got C Woo who's saying V Tech's going to pull it out. Good game saying V Tech's going to pull it out. Everybody's rooting for V Tech. They think the vet is going to pull it out. And what happened there? V Tech tried to get away with only sending two. He got pancaked. He had nobody rushing the quarterback at that time. C Jack had time to hang out, make all the reads, make the reads two and three times he needed to, made the proper one, picks up a first down, and he's chewing clock right now. Single back wing tight. Another run. He ran commit. Oh my goodness. Oh my yeah, goodness. He wanted it. He wanted it a lot. Don't you feel like the you just person when, when he runs commits, he's kind of getting desperate like I have no clue how to stop this run. EA help me out. Run commits. Send everyone. Normally, I would say you're exactly right. But when somebody is in VTech situation and they're just having one formation thrown at him and this guy will not pass the ball out of that formation, I'm going to run commit. You're oh, yeah. going to have to throw the ball on me. Oh, yeah. See, Jack. Oh, my goodness. Yo, he is pounding VTech. It looks like VTech does not have a whim of defense for the run game. Andre Branch had 88 block shed two days ago. Well, it's two days later. Man. Roster update. Man. It happened. First and 10 from the dead zone. Let's see, can see Jack score. He's going to run out of this formation again. VTech hits him for a gain of one, uses that first time out. He wants to make sure he can get the ball back. Now, C Jack can get a first down. If VTech wastes too many timeouts here, C Jack can win this game with three, and VTech will not see the ball again. This is tough, man. This is real tough, because if he gets that first down, it's over. You're in a bind. It's over. An extra bind. Maybe a little power O action, the most popular offline run last year, the Figgy-O. There it is. He's pounding. You know, and this is the hardest part about playing Madden, when you need to make that adjustment. Obviously, VTech is still being stubborn and not making the right adjustments to stop this run. And C. Jack is continuing to pound the ball and milk this clock. And it looks like C. Jack is going to come out. Oh, okay. In a, yeah, in a heavy set. Heavy on third and six. And you can get a first down. He must be confident that VTech has settle run defense. None. You think he's running right now? Of course he's running. Of course he's running. He hasn't been able to stop it. He has to run. Toss. I need that last time out at you, VTech. I'm going to need oh, And that may I do it. I think he might have got it. He picked up the first down. Oh, yes. He did. That's game. That is and for big. all intents and purposes, that is the first upset of the tournament. VTech was one of the favorites. He was. He was. But and obviously, that's what happens, man. You come out here, and these young guys, these new guys, they're not afraid of the vet. Not they at all. They don't care if you was on Beyond the Sticks all week and you was locked in with Figgy and Dreamy. They're like, guess what? It's any given Sunday. Put the sticks in your hands, and it's a possibility I might blow you out. You play the game. 
not the name. That's right. And he played a great game there. He played to all of Seattle's strengths. He played against all of New England's weaknesses. He had a much better game plan than I expected. I am very impressed by my man C. Jack. Yeah. As long as he can hit the field goal. Yeah, that's tough. And he made Vitek burn his timeout so he couldn't ice him. We're going to see three QB kneels, maybe two if he has the chew clock on. User, right, if man. you had to give me how many beats per minute that man's heart's going to go on this field goal, how nervous is he going to be? I don't know, man. If he was at the 35, he might be nervous, but this is a chip shot. From the four, this is like kicking an extra point. But guess what? VTech can block field goals. There are three eligible kick blockers. I'm sure you will see VTech on one of them. And not only can he block it, he can recover it, score, and win this game without having to see overtime. And guess what? When you're offline, it's so much easier to block field goals because you can literally, like, you, you know, can really time it. You, you can time it. You can look at his hands. Mm -hmm. you, can hear, you can hear the button release if he's a heavy yeah. button pusher. Like, hey, I'm just waiting to hear that. And you don't need to, to see anything on the screen at this point, offline. I'm holding turbo. I'm looking at the controller. I'm standing right up looking at his you. hands. I'm telling you. I'm standing you. right up looking at his hands. I need to get a block right here. C Jack for the game and the biggest upset of this young tournament. Can he block it? VTEC is on the left side of your screen. Blocker eligible. That's good. That's game. Yeah. No. Oh, I thought he pushed it. You thought he shanked it. Well, I left. Nah, it's good. It's money. Looking like a young Roberto Aguayo. That's a big C -Jack. win by C Jack.